we have reached the end. My name is Lainey. Marshall. Today we're going to talk about Obsidio by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, and it's the third book in the Illuminae Files series. They call it the Illuminae Trilogy. I wonder, though. So, with, with this one, uh, we, we've had these people that ran away from a colony that was under fire. Um, they tried to get to a station. Station not there no more. Um, space kind of imploded on itself. And so the survivors of that space station are going along with the survivors of the colony, going back to the colony to find that the colony is still under fire and is occupied and things are not going well. Mm -hmm. And this is a story in two parts being told simultaneously. And as such, I was a little lost through most of this book. I did also listen to it like I did the first two. And in this case, I feel like maybe that wasn't the best idea. Um, and the more I think about it, the more I'm like, you know what, I kind of wish I had read this book rather than listen to it. Because I got so lost about the characters. It is a wide range of characters. And because it was from, and spoilers if you haven't read the second one, because there's kind of an alternate reality, but like duo universe thing happening, I got really lost as to which universe characters we were actually following at which time, even though we weren't in two universes anymore. Yeah. The Deus Ex Machina, the last book, kind of bit us in the book in the butt for con understanding this one. Yeah, but I mean, above all, I feel like uh, unexpectedly my favorite character became Aiden, even though he committed these acts that that in the first couple books, and even in this book, that you're like, you monster. But you understand why he did it, and you're just kind of like, wow. Wait, and he it? says it over and over throughout the entire story. Every story has a hero. Every story has a villain. Every story has a monster. I am that monster. And if you haven't read the books, Aiden is the uh, artificial intelligence that runs the ships. Ship. Yeah. One ship. Although, he, 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 he started around. in one ship. <laughs> he started in one ship. He gets around. He gets around. <laughs> yes. It, it, so, I mean, yeah, I think really he is the main character. We talk about this. He's yeah. the main character in this book. And So, yeah. to, to kind of give you more idea, literally everybody that we have known from the first book and the second book come into this book as major characters. Mm -hmm. And then they add another book's worth of characters. So... That's one of the reasons why she was having difficulty keeping track of everything. Um, on the planet side, there is a resistance. They have managed to recruit one of the officers of the occupying force to try and sabotage everything, get a message out, and that kind of gets everything together. It also wraps up the entire Illuminae Files with the actual presentation of the evidence and the jury's idea of what's going on. And we always kind of thought too that maybe it would have been better if they had made the third book be what's happening on the colony and then the fourth book be the wrap up, how the characters come together and deal with it. I mean it's kind of a long book already. It's like 600 pages. So yeah. I think maybe splitting it up into two different books wouldn't have been such a bad idea. Um, but I, I'm really interested to read, read this and not listen to it on audiobook just to see if I understand it a little more. And maybe that's the point. Maybe you're supposed to read it multiple times and yeah. get more out of it. I don't know. I ended up giving it four stars. I, I would, I would, huh, yeah, I'm going to give it four stars. I, I'm kind of like, there's elements that I like it and f to give it a five. And then there's some points I'm like three, but it, it, I'm going to give it a four. So thank you so much for watching. All the information is down below for you. And until next time, stay sane. Bye-bye.